This is ABC exact form example, but we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to look at this because we have Acme David Crane. And if I say print, this will print a form which can be used for printing. You can actually use it to generate a, something that would be emailed if you really wanted to. But in this situation, we've got an embedded report down below here. And, uh, and you can see the data is merged and today's date is there. Um, but uh, there was a request out in uh, the community forum for, well, I'd like to hide this if there's nothing in it. And so uh, this is what our mission is, is to figure out how to make that be hidden. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna suggest is that this will add orders. So I'm gonna come over to the orders table and if there are no orders here, I want that to summarize up and tell me. So I'm going to um, create a summary field first. This is how we might make this happen. I create a summary field where contacts have orders and the orders is where the, 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 that embedded report is. And I'm gonna summarize up a field that says the number of orders related. So if there's zero, I'm gonna use that zero to decide what that button is going to do. Um, so let's uh, exit out of here. And let's go back into where that button is. And this button is really this one right here. Now I'm gonna create the, a whole other button over on the right hand side, add a, add a field after this. And this is, will be um, uh, print with, uh, without um, the table, the embedded table. And this is going to be a, a formula URL, so I'm scooting way down to make a formula URL field. Now I want it to actually do as this does, click, but when it comes to doing this, I only want to see this without this embedded component in it. So that's, that's our mission. So I'm going to grab the code that's here and say edit and I'm going to grab it and copy and bring it back over to that other field that we're, we're making for this purpose here right click and edit and I'm going to paste this inside here um, and so what we've got is when you press this button, it goes and calls this um, page name, which is called intro letter. So um, that's the first one. So I'm going to say intro letter, and I'm going to say two, intro letter two dot HTML. Okay, so it's going to do the same thing, but I got to put an if statement in here, and I'm going to say if the number, and I think it says total. Does it say, yeah, number of orders, let's say is uh, equals zero, um, then do this, which is a intro letter two, else, let's copy that, else do this one. And let's close this off. All right, that means I can take the existing one and um, and if, if there are zero things here, I want to go to this special version of this exact form versus this version of the exact form, right? So let's go and take a look at the exact form. Uh, we'll go home, we'll click on the settings, we'll go over to pages, and you can see here's the intro letter. I'm going to copy this and call this intro letter 2 intro letter two, there we go. And now this one is not going to have the embedded report. Now I'm looking down here and you can see that I put this in here with a table. And uh, so I'm gonna take this out of this version and save it. And now we've got this one which is has it and this one does not have it. And the cool part about that is that um, if I print this letter or, or I need to add that, that extra field on, on this report here, let's go to uh, customize this existing report. 
and there's a where's that new field print all the right print without a table there it is this is our new field so I'm going to add it and put it up to print and click Save okay now I know it's it, it it says a link, but you can see this is this will print the HTML. Um, I wonder if any of them will say HTML. Up, oh, some of these say HTML two. Do you see it? Because these don't have any embedded report to them. So that is uh, let's make sure that we make this a button. So we'll come down and say what did we call this again? Print without the table. Well, really, it will print with the table, but it'll be intelligent when it says it. So, um, uh, print <laughs> uh, with or without table. And it really depends. So let's hit save. And, oh, I still didn't um, make it a button. Edit. And we'll come down here and say display it as a button. And we can give it, oh, I don't know. We'll give it this color purple and then save. So now we've got uh, two different ways to do it. Now, if I do this one, um, uh, it's because we have an embedded report. And well, this will sh always show the embedded report one. But let's come back. Let's try doing this. Now, this should do the exact same thing because there's an embedded report, right? But let's find one that doesn't have an embedded report. And we'll, I don't know which one would do. Let's try this one. Click. There's no embedded report. You see? Uh, so this is, uh, let's go back. And let's, let's actually find one. Does this one have an embedded report? Yeah, this one has an order. So I'm going to go next and see if this one has an order. This one has a next. Um, how can I find out which ones do not have? Well, I could click and add a column to this report and put the number of orders. That's kind of on the bottom of the page. So there they are right there. Number of orders is four for that. Here's, here's one that doesn't have uh, an embedded one. And we'll print this. Click. And it does the exact same thing, only without. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. We've created a we've cr we've created a summary field that is keeping track of whether or not there is a form, and then that allows us to swap it for another page um, when we do an exact form.